Hi there, Ashante here. We all need to track the organizations we do business with and the contacts that we speak to. And Nutshell allows us to do just that. So today, I'm gonna to show you how to create a new person and a new company in Nutshell, as well as show you how to use these pages to store information and organize your conversations. To begin, click on the large plus sign. Let's create a person first. I've recently met with Dwight Schrute, who is a great potential client, so I want to add him in Nutshell. We'll fill in any information we already have for Dwight, such as his name, his email, and other contact information. If we already know the company that Dwight works for, we can create a company page at the same time by adding a company name. Then click Save, and Nutshell will drop us on Dwight's new person page. Once on the person page, we'll see a map with a pinpoint displaying Dwight's address, then Dwight's name, and a place for a description. In the center of the person page, we'll see Dwight's associated companies, a place for his job title, his upcoming activities and tasks, and Dwight's historical timeline. This is where you'll see a chronological list of your email conversations, logged activities, and notes for Dwight's profile. On the right-hand side of the person page, we'll see who this person is assigned to and territory information if provided. We'll also see the contact information we've already entered, and we can click here to add more. If Nutshell Intelligence is enabled within your company settings, Nutshell will use the email address and website URLs you've provided to pull additional details and profile pictures for your contacts from publicly available sources, like their social media accounts. Further down on the right-hand side, you'll see a section for file uploads, as well as any person-related custom fields that your admin has created for your business. If we want to associate a brand new company to Dwight, we can do so by clicking the Add a Company link. But let's create a brand new company instead. An ex-colleague has started a new catering business that I want to add to Nutshell called Charcutes. Again, we'll click on the large plus sign and this time select Company. We'll fill in any information we already have for Charcutes, just as we did when creating a new person. And since we're already familiar with the point of contact at Charcutes, we can add them. We'll then click Save and view our new company page. Our company page is going to look very similar to our person page. At the top of the company page, we'll see a map for a listed address, the company name, and a brief description. In the center of the company page, we'll see associated people, upcoming activities and tasks, and this company's historical timeline, all very similar to what we saw on the person page. On the right-hand side of the company page, we'll see the company type if one has been stored, what industry this company belongs to, who in Nutshell has ownership over this company and will be communicating with its contacts, and which designated territory this company belongs to. We'll also see the contact information we've already entered, any attached files, and company-specific custom fields. And that's it. Now that you're familiar with your person and company pages, you're ready to explore other areas of Nutshell, like creating a lead or organizing your new contacts utilizing saved lists. Thanks for watching and happy Nutshelling. <laughs>